We all know that Pantera got back together, and it has been quite a shit stir as far as the whole announcement about how it's happened. And you know what? Rightfully so. This is a whole, like, really? What? When? Maybe? Oh, hey, this is the greatest thing ever. And so it's like, this is also without the Brothers Abbott, Dimebag Daryl, Vinnie Paul. Regardless of how you feel about the band, I think we can all agree that this is a move that seems at the least kind of odd. Granted, I know Rex Brown was an original member, and Phil and some, although not original, was a very prominent member. And this is something that we were like, I don't know, because if I recall, like, Diamond Vinny, like, that was it for them. They did not want this to be a thing. Like, obviously, Vinny Paul had Hell Yeah, and that was supposed to be his last band until he died, which literally was his last band until he died. And I was not a fan of Hell Yeah, but I respected Vinny's conviction. Now, there's a few things that I thought about. Think about this in, like, a whole deeper meaning and maybe not so emotional thinking. Like, okay, if they're going to do these shows with... Bill and Rex, like, how can this work and actually, like, you know, feel more genuine and make sense and not feel like a total cash grab? So I thought of some actual solutions to this. Yes, folks, even I can be the optimist and say, here's how this could work. So let me give you a few lessons on how this could work. As I suspected, 32 flavors. You want to start off with number one, you have to be, you are not Pantera. Just fucking say it. Say this is a tribute. This is a very heartfelt tribute. You are not the actual band. You are not the name. You are just going to be an exclusive catalog playing Pantera songs live with Zach and Charlie behind Diamond Vinny's respective positions. You don't have to be Pantera because that was not Pantera. Dimebag Daryl when he was Diamond Daryl. Vinny Paul, Rex Brown, yeah Terry Glaze. Those are the originals man. Yes Terry Glaze. I'm talking Glam Terra. Glam Terra folks. So be a tribute band or a homage but you are not actually Pantera no matter how much one tries to spin it. And second of all, do not record a new album. It's been 22 years since Reinventing the Steel came out, and obviously that came out some mixed results, but that's neither here nor there. Just accept it. Let it go. Phil, you already have Down. You have The Illegals. You have Super Joint Ritual. Charlie, you have Anthrax. Zach, you have BLS. Rex, you, I don't know what you're doing anymore. Just let it go. We have had our legacy. Why can't just one band just say, okay, this was the end. That was the actual end. I get it. Want to pay tribute, homage. I get it. But please, guys, just let this be just that. If you're going to do like a tour, don't do a new album. Because it's not Pantera. Or even, dare I say, Glam Terra leading it to number three. Well, this one's not going to happen, but wishful thinking is a very real thing amongst yours truly. And I'm going to say, like, please happen, please happen, because I would forgive so much if this happened. But it's not going to happen, but I really want it to happen, folks. You know what that is? You know what it is that I want so bad? I'm just like, oh, is that power metal? I am the knight? Glam Terra? Yes, folks, I would kill for some Glam Terra alive. That would redeem so much of this for me. Saying, you know what, hey guys, just you know, like, I'm glad you enjoy Vulgar Display of Power and the Great Sun Trend Kill, but before that, way before when, you know, I came in, a hey, Phil Ensemble, I, Phil Ensemble, and I did these songs here, you know, and this is what we did before we went to this, you know, groove sound. And then we became like that, you know, for the rest of the duration of our career. We were this band. Because... We started at the glam, and then we shifted over towards another band that we're going to get into for number four. But you get what I'm trying to say is, do some glam tear alive. It would help a lot. Maybe Phil can pull out the vocals, but let's find out. Because number four is the last, but certainly not least, thing. And to close out number four, X Hoarder. Yes, folks, X fucking Hoarder. You're like, what? Who? What? When? Where? Why? And how? Guys, no X-Hoarder, no Groove Metal Pantera. Straight up. 
Don't believe me? Just look at the photo of Phil Anselmo where he's sporting an ex hoarder shirt in the promo picks. Obviously, his vocal style later on became very influenced by Kyle Thomas, and that's fine. I don't know if they ripped them off or if they were strongly influenced. I don't know. I don't care, but I'm just saying this is a great way to pay it forward is all I'm getting at. And you know what? To be very fair, Pantera over time had been very historically well known for bringing you no know, good bands on tour. They brought Morbid Angel on tour, I think like a few times. Like it's not like it can't happen. Crowbar has done some tours. So Pantera was very well reputable for that. So why don't we bring X Hoarder on tour for the US tour, even the European tour? This would bring a full circle because we know Phil and Kyle are totally cool with each other. So fuck it. Put all that rivalry bullshit that fans wanted that you guys to have so bad. Say, no, listen, we're all buds, we're all friends. That was the past. This is where we're at now. X Hoarder opening for Pantera. Yeah, some elitist fans will get mad, but who gives a fuck? Let's make this work, folks. If we're really going to do this Pantera reunion, celebration, tribute to whatever you want to call it. But those are what I think should happen for this Pantera, whatever you want to call it, going forward. What do you think should happen in order to make this considered a very integral move? Why don't you let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to you all in the next video until our paths cross again.